Greetings, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, wanting to take you five days into the future for our December 13th regular City Council meeting at 6 p.m. It's actually a fairly light agenda for December 13th, uh, other than approval of some of the minutes. We've got uh, communications of parents. We've got Michelle Overstreet, CEO and founder of My House, coming to talk with us about kind of her vision and how she has worked with dealing with um, housing and dealing with the homeless and giving us kind of her perspective on how things could work better. Uh, we've also got a proclamation recognizing Allie Hineker earning state championship in diving. And then we've got the various reports. We've got one public hearing for this meeting, a resolution number 22-035. It's basically 1.2, we'll call it $1.3 million grant. Uh, Palmer has requested to deal with, uh, there's a, a multidisciplinary team, what do they call it? Drug endangered children, multidisciplinary team coordinator um, where the different agencies involved, whether it's law enforcement and social services and, and all these other agencies are working together and they're trying to come up with a coordinator to help uh, draw in the people that need to work and respond to things appropriately. Uh, there's two action memoranda. Uh, basically, we're doing a policy change. They sound very, very similar policy change regarding non-work hours of public works transportation operator requirements and public works water and sewer operator requirements. And uh, it's a, basically a simple policy change on how people are compensated when they are required to be on call, um, to be ready to work on the water system, the sewer system, or to plow streets for snow, which They've actually done a very good job this last week. I, I am very impressed and I was in Anchorage and compared to Anchorage Palmer, I'm very impressed with Palmer. Also this Monday night on uh, December 12th at 6 p.m. at the Palmer Depot, there will be a public meeting concerning the railroad right of way and ideas for how we can work on uh, developing that area. And there will be presentations and there's been some surveys out and so be presentation of what survey results have come in and, and different ideas that people have come up with. So that's Monday night, December 12th at the Palmer Depot concerning the railroad right of way in Palmer. And a couple other events I would like to comment on is on Tuesday, December 13th during the day, we're having a Palmer Community Resource Day. And uh, the invitation says, come learn about the social service agencies that are located in Palmer. Agency representatives will be available to answer questions and assist people in connecting to benefits and services. And that's from 10 to 4 at the Palmer Depot. And for that Palmer Community Resource Day, some of the groups that I know of that are coming are uh, My House, Matsu Health Services, Connect Matsu, Hums Links Resource Center, South Central Foundation, Salvation Army, Daybreak Services, Jobs Alaska, Set Free Alaska, Connect Palmer, and then I believe the Job Corps will be there with their culinary arts students uh, providing food for those that are attending. And that will be on Tuesday the 13th from 10 to 4 at the Palmer Depot. And Colony Christmas is December 9th to 11th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that weekend. And there will be many different events happening throughout Palmer. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for the December 13th regular city council meeting at 6 p.m.